Our lunar light show consists of two parts. We begin with a simulation of the first half of the total lunar eclipse of August 28, 2007, followed by a set of nearly 200 digital images of the moon taken during the eclipse from the Mount Wilson Observatory with a 16-inch telescope and digital camera. At the beginning of the eclipse, the moon is located outside both portions of the Earth's shadow. As the eclipse begins, the moon moves into the lighter outer penumbral portion of the Earth's shadow before ending up in the dark central umbral portion of the shadow during the total phase of the eclipse. In order to show the eclipse with the digital images, we've guided the telescope on the moon so that instead of watching the moon move through the Earth's shadow, you instead appear to see the shadow of the Earth move across the front side of the moon from the upper left-hand corner of the disk all the way across to the lower right-hand corner. Now as the partial phase of the eclipse comes to an end, we've had to increase the exposure time of our camera to show you the totally eclipsed moon. We've had to increase the exposure time yet again until finally midway through the total phase of the eclipse the moon has the appearance of a reddish orange disk. The moon has this color because of the effects of refraction in the atmosphere of the earth. The atmosphere of the earth has bent the shorter wavelength blue, green, and yellow light from the sun by a larger angle so that they missed illuminating the moon completely. While the atmosphere of the earth has bent the longer wavelength orange and red colors by just the right angle so that they illuminate the front side of the lunar disk.